Um, panic attack. Okay, let's try this shit on. God damn it. Today I'm going to be trying to transform this dress into something new. I'm thinking that I can do a two-piece romper. Not sure how it's going to turn out because I've never sewn shorts before. But we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is going to divide the dress into the top and the shorts. shorts. I still don't have a sewing machine, but at least I got these nice scissors. Thank you, Nicole. These are very nice scissors um, because these cut a lot nicer than my craft scissors that I was using before. Do you think a shorts would be cute? I have no idea. Really slimming skirt. Like, like that. Like, I feel like this is more normal, but I kind of want to go for the shorts. Okay, okay, so I just realized people usually do shorts in four different pieces. I'm going to fold over this romper and then trace over this shape and then cut it out. I think I figured out the geometry of shorts. I think this is just a lot of extra fabric that I left because I was scared. And then this is gonna go to the other side and pinned to the crotch. Um, it's fine. I'm chilling. It's gonna be all right. It's all right. It's all right. Ooh, that stitch is kind of not straight. Going pretty well. Like from the front, it looks like not bad. Definitely better than the stitching that I was doing on the skirt last time. Like, you can't even tell that was hand sewn. That's a pretty nice. Whoa, that's a pretty nice stitch. It does pay to actually put pins in. Okay, I have my first half. Looks kind of funny right now, but hopefully it will turn out. I'm gonna cut the next two pieces and then hopefully sew them together by tonight. Okay, so I have the two halves. And now I'm going to make a stitch down one side. I think the other side I'm gonna have to use a zipper because I realize I might have made it too small and I'm not that skinny legend. So I don't know about the last skip. Might have to take apart a dance costume to get a zipper. <laughs> it'll be cute. I'm not sure about it at this point, but I think it'll be cute. I think. Think it'll be cute. I cut this long zipper from my dance costume. I'm gonna, it's kind of ugly right now, but I'm gonna be putting this behind the fabric that we have on the short. And this side will be covered by the other piece of fabric. So it'll just be a little zipper peeking through, hopefully. I've never worked with zippers before, but I finally, I understand zippers to a deeper level now. They are a magnificent piece of architecture <laughs> so i just finished sewing the zipper to death together and i am going to try this on hey i think you can work with this so now i just need to connect these two and i got a little play that's super cute oh my gosh <laughs> And then I guess just connect this. I really don't know how, I don't know how shorts work. Like, you just connect it like that. Like, oh. oh, crotch area, and this is all the excess fabric, but I'm just gonna be sewing around this area where the pins are and sewing it together. I want this to turn out because I dedicated my entire night to this. And if it doesn't turn out, I will be sad and also sad. You know what? This was fun. This was fun and it was entertaining. 
and I think I think we can get something out of it. If anything, we got a little crop top, and I don't know why I spend so much time on the pants. Like wearing two plaid things is a little much, but you know what? I wanted to learn how to make shorts, and I I guess I I might have learned how to make shorts. And pray that this worked. Let's go. Excess fabric in there. But they're shorts. They're they're very much shorts. Look at that. Kind of cute. This might look like I'm just like a boy, but <laughs> let's try it on. I look like a 13-year-old boy. Camel toe part is a little funky. Like, I don't really know what to do about it. Shorts are hard. I also think another one of my problems is that this crotch area is ginormous. So I might have to trim it a bit in order for it to look normal. Well, actually they look better. They look better. Ow, I can feel the freaking needles. Okay. Do you think it will look better like shorter? I wanted to do something different and I did. And I found out that making shorts is not worth it. But you know what? Since I started it, I will finish it tomorrow. I am going to go to sleep because I'm feeling pretty defeated after freaking... These shorts just look weird. I should have known. It's a plaid... It's plaid shorts. Like... Ugh. I need a designer, okay. I don't have a great fashion sense and I really actually changed my mind about shorts and now I'm just going to show you what I'm gonna do. I decided that I'm not gonna go for the well my blue lights kinda crazy. I'm not gonna go for the shorts. I was looking at the pictures yesterday and they were not cute and I don't think I can fix it like in the way that I wanted to. But I was looking back on when I was trying out the dress as a whole and like doing the bodycon thing with it and it actually looked really good as two piece and I was thinking like we can do some clueless vibes and all I have to really do well there's like loose pins everywhere it's uneven because I was doing shorts before but um I just want to make it even because they were diagonal um I just want to make it even by just, just kind of pulling it to the front and that way the entire bottom is even and then also you get more of a slimmed foot yeah so i'll be reducing the amount of like fabric there and hopefully that will be good enough <sighs> uneven and i'm only altering the bottom part because i want that part to scrunch a little more in order to make my butt look better yeah so hopefully this works i don't really know i didn't really measure it and you know what happens when I don't measure things, but what can you do? What can you do, you know? I'm just trying to survive out here. It's probably gonna be, so that's where I want to scrunch it in a bit. Like the end of my butt, because you wanna like have a hump and then like go in, because right now it's just like a hump and then it flares out. Okay, I finished this sewing both sides. I think I just need to refine the, the side that I accidentally cut last time because I thought I was gonna fix my shorts. So I probably have to repair that. And then like the top part kind of came loose. So I have to repair that as well. But I'm gonna do a try on right now. And hopefully it looks better than the shorts. The freaking shorts. Oh yeah, she's coming together. So, so I kind of did like a crossover thing with the front. The back looks weird. I can't really tell right now. I think it's weird part. I think I messed up there. So it's looking pretty decent, I would say. I just need to trim off some of the excess fabric that I have on the inside. And this one line that I sewed earlier is really bad and it's also in the front, so I have to alter it a bit. And then that, my project is going to rip it and like redo that part. I'm nearing the end. I've stabbed myself about a hundred times at least. Huh, I'm done. I'm gonna 
gonna try it on. And it fits perfectly. Yes. 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 I look like I'm from Clueless. No, I want it. I want it. Cause I deserve it. Hope you can come. Ni en banda